Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilldor. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about an important aspect of your research publication which we miss quite often while submitting our research article. That important research aspect should be included in any type of your research and next time after watching this video I am pretty sure your paper will be more sound and productive to get an accepted result by an Scopus or Web of Science Index Journal. So let's get started. My dear learners, the most important aspect that we quite often miss is the research philosophy for theoretical contribution. You know that normally we start with the introduction and then methodology or literature review, methodology, then we discuss about the results and discussion, right? But many impact factor journals, whether it is in Scopus Index or Web of Science, they look for what is the theoretical connection between your research objective and research question. This is very important. The other two aspect is research philosophy. What is your research philosophy behind your research objective and research question? Without these two important contribution, you are not able to get a higher impact factor journal publication. You will find most of the research article are missing these two key points. But I am going to tell you that these two important aspects will help you a lot while you are submitting your next article for Scopus publication. Now I am going to share it with an example. Let's see. This is one of the research philosophy for theoretical contribution or research philosophy and theoretical contribution connection. Now look at the topic that I'm talking about. We are talking about the topic insights into energy security and the shift towards low carbon energy in the ASEAN region. That is my topic and I'm using different tools, qualitative and quantitative. The question is why I am using different types of quantitative analysis. What is the reason behind it? What is the research philosophy behind it? So I am going to share that philosophy in this example. First of all we need to understand what we are talking about here. We are talking about research philosophy refers to a system of beliefs and assumptions about the development of knowledge in a particular field there are three types of philosophy epistemological realities encountered in research or ontological assumptions and finally axiological assumptions so epistemology is something based on the data or real life data analysis on the other hand, ontology more often is a case study based research, case study based research and axiological research is influence of personal values on the research process, more on a qualitative research. Okay, then a well throughout and consistent set of assumptions contributes and constitutes a research philosophy. So when explaining the choice of data collection method, it is important to demonstrate that research should be taken seriously and according to the assumptions, assumptions under epistemological, ontological or axiological assumptions. Now one of the example of research philosophy is here, philosophy of research in higher education. This is the article that I am referring to, understanding research philosophy and approaches. If you look at this article, this article is all about how you are going to connect your research philosophy and how you are going to develop your theory. Now in this particular research paper, you will see a very nice diagram that shows you what type of research method falls under which research philosophy. 
and it's very important to connect your research problem, research objective, research design with the research philosophy and the theory. And this diagram shows you a complete picture of that. Then comes down, if you see, under the three important research philosophy, there are some paradigms. These paradigms you will see that what type of question it is going to answer. For example, ontology is answering what is the nature of reality, while epistemology is answering how can we know what we know, meaning fact-based research. On the other hand, axiology is talking about what is the role of values in research. It is more values and normative type of research. Now, under these, you will see there are some examples given here in this particular piece of research article. And this will show you what are the research paradigms under those three important research philosophy. And you will see there are some regulation perspective, radical perspective, positivism perspective. All these paradigms are also shared over here. So, I strongly recommend you to have a look this piece of article and go one by one five major philosophies under three basic research philosophy positivism okay then you will see there are other philosophies like critical realism okay and you will see one by one interpretism these research paradigms are under three basic philosophies are there so you particularly focus which research question and your research objective best suit your research philosophy according to this guideline. And if you write your research philosophy or theory upfront while you are writing your research article, I can guarantee you this will be considered as a good research article for next Scopus or Web of Science and High Impact Factor journal. And I hope and pray that you will do that and you will get a benefit from this particular edition of your research writing paper. I am pretty sure this video is useful for you. And if you have any question, any problem, do let me know through email me or you can always comment on this video. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, my dear learners. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial with an ex exciting and very productive research related ideas and topic. Thank you. I'll see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.